or just how different does it feel being a sophomore as opposed to being the new guy? Uh, I can't really hear you. How different does it feel being the sophomore as opposed to being the new guy out there? Um, it feels different because coming in last year, you know, I knew I had to step in, you know, earn my time, you know, play my role, and just you know, share minutes with people. With Andrew, you know, we had ten players. It, this year is a lot different. I come in as a veteran, kind of, you know, seven new guys coming in. You know, I have to lead this team, and at the time, same time, still earn my time because these are great players. And you know, you just got to come out ready to play, and you know, I just can't wait to lead this team and try to win. Does this feel like your team now? Uh, yeah, it does. You know, because you know, these are a lot of young guys, seven players left, and you know, me, Marcus, Alex, Dom being the the people here. Alex didn't play much last year. But he's been here a while, so he's gonna he's definitely gonna be a leader. Mark is gonna be a leader because he's been through it. So has Dom. You know, even though he didn't play as much as everyone else, he's been through all of this. So you know, we just can't we can't wait for the season. What did you learn from last year playing behind Andrew and kinda of easing into this a little bit? Um, I just, you know, learned as a team, it's just we, we can't take anything for granted. You know, it could be taken away from you that fast and you know, you just gotta you got to make sure you play hard every moment and execute at the end of games with that Wisconsin game. Uh, we didn't execute it late, and they came back, and, and, you know, they beat us. How much have you thought about that case? I think about it all the time. You know, I've watched it a couple of times, and, you know, it's just very upsetting still. How, how do you get through that when you watch it? I mean, I can get through it because, you know, I still know we lost before I watched it, so you know, I can't easily get through it. But after, it's like, wow, we really lost. Like, it's like it's a shocker all over again. When was the last time you watched it? Um, I didn't watch it, but like I was watching like highlights and stuff, and then fell asleep and it popped up on the TV like three days ago. Is that? I mean, did you say two times? How many times have you been? Have I watched it overall? Yeah, I've watched it a lot. Yeah. Like, yeah. Well, you were a guy in the locker room afterwards who said that loss invalidated everything you've been done before. That does that? Have you softened on that at all, any? Or um, it... I, yeah, I've softened a little bit, but I feel I, I feel the same way because you know. We did have a great season, though. We went we won 38 straight games. Nobody can take that away from us. But you know, I feel like our goal as a team was to win the national title, and we didn't do that. So you know, it's just like we went 38 no for no reason. We went 38 no. We got to go 40 and no to win. So we didn't do it. How did the way last season go? How does that change the expectations for this year? For me, um, I just expect to win the national title again. I don't expect to go 38 and 0 again. I would want to, of course, but you know, I don't expect, you know, with this many new guys for us to have perfect games. You know, last year, if I played terrible, Andrew would come in, he played terrible, I come in. It's gonna be a little different. You know, we gotta play through stuff. So, you know, it's just gonna, you know, we're gonna have a special and great season, I feel like, but, you know, it may be different. Cal said you turned down the chance to play for the national team this summer. Team you know, say to that? What was the thought process? Um, I, I feel like I just need to, what was, that wasn't what's best for the team. You know, I've never played for USA, and. I've always wanted to, but you know my shin splints last year and stuff like that. If I wanted to this team to be great like last year, I had to be healthy. So you know I felt like I had to sit out, get my rest, and you know make sure my body was good so I can last through the season. What are you seeing from your teammates this summer, just in pickup games and stuff? Um, a lot of guys are a lot better from last year. You know, most of, mostly Marcus Lee. He's been great. You know, Scal being a great player, Marcus Lee is a really good player right now. He's making jump shots, you know, hook shots, of course, catching lobs, blocking shots. And, you know, the new guys coming in are really good. You know, Scal is very skilled. Um, he is the player everybody thinks he is. And, you know, Charles is a lot better than people think he is. You know, Zay and Jamal came in with their hype, which they are. They are what they're expected to be. And Charles, he's just, he's a sleeper, I feel like. He's a lot better than people know. Can you tell the difference in Marcus now? I mean, that he kind of feels like it's his moment. Now. Most definitely, because I feel like he has that confidence. He feels like he deserves the ball. Like, he feels like once he gets it, he's going to score. He feels like he's not just, you know, Marcus Lee who needs to come in and give energy and block shots. He's Marcus Lee who needs to do a lot more. We've heard Cal talk all summer with this positionless basketball thing with all these different guys playing. How does that fit in for you all? You've got so many guards who can play together at different spots. Um, it just fits into like, you know, we have three point guards, you know, you don't want everybody just think like me as the point guard and then Zay or Jamal as the three because they know they're a point guard. They don't want to be considered a three. So if it's positionless, we're all playing together. We're just playing in the floor of the moment. They got the ball, I go on the wing. I got it, they go on the wing. And it's just, you know, we're just going to try to play together the best of our ability. And we're really clicking right now in open gym. You and, you and Andrew had some success playing together last year. Yeah, that, I feel like three, does that go to a whole I feel like it's going to be the same way because with me and Andrew, Andrew is actually a better facilitator than people know. And, you know, he um, 
played great with me and off me because he could be more of a scorer and attack more. And that's the type of player Zay is. But he's a he's a naturally born scorer. Like he's a he's a walking bucket. So you know he's just he's just gonna be in there getting buckets off of me and stuff like that, attacking. And then me and Jamal are more shooters, and Jamal plays in the pick and roll kind of like me. And then he can score the ball a lot as well. So I feel like we're gonna be great together. Have you taken Isaiah kind of under your wing this summer? It seems kind of like that. Just yeah, yeah, that's my son. <laughs> what did you want to do with that relationship with him? Um, no, we just we've known each other for a while, but you know we've never been around each other, and we you know we just clicked. You feel me? We just we're just really close right now, and we're always together. And that's my boy. What about Charles? I mean, you've known him for a long time. What do people not know about what he does out there? On the court, you know, I don't really want to tell much what people don't know because I want them to see for themselves. He's a great player. Like he's better than he was when I played with him back with Mean Street. So. You know, there's a lot of things he can do that people don't know, and I just, you know, want him to show that. He says that the recruiting rankings didn't bother him. Do you think that kind of motivates him a little bit to prove people wrong that, that he wasn't? I, I feel like it didn't bother him. Just like, that's the type of person he is. He's confident in his game. Look where he's at. He's at Kentucky. He's not at a D2 school. He's at Kentucky. So, really, you can't say anything about his ranking. It doesn't matter. It's in high school. It's, it's, it's gone. The number one player from last year could be terrible this year. You know, it wouldn't matter. But... You know, he's a great player. He's a lot better than people think. Um, I feel like his stock may have dropped because of the team he's playing with. So, you know, he's, he's going to be good. What did you learn about Cal last year playing for him? I'm a, I learned a lot, obviously, you know, how he wants us to play, uh, how hard he is on his point guards, how hard he is on everybody else, they, what he expects from his team. And then he just, you know, he's about us. You know, he wants us to do what's best for us. He wants us to be the best player we can be. How much is he on you about taking that leadership role? Um, he tells me all the time I need to be a leader, that you know I need to come in here, ready to lead this team, and just make sure everybody's right. What about him that makes him a Hall of Famer? Uh, everything. You know, he's a great coach. Um, the things he's done at this program, other programs, he won so many games, Final Fours, championships. And then I feel like the best thing is he's sending these kids to the NBA, you know, making our dreams come true, like all these guys on the wall and more. You know, we've grown up wanting to go to the NBA, that's it. And you know he's making their dreams come true. You feel like there's kind of a little international flair to this roster now. You got a Haitian, a couple Canadians, Australian guy out there. Yeah, I don't see Scal as international right now. He, he's kind of he's kind of like us. But Jamal and, and Isaac, most definitely Isaac. Um, he's kind of got an accent to him. But Jamal's pretty cool too. Uh, he's got a little bit of accent, but you know he's a funny kid. But you know it's no different from anybody else. Uh, they still speak English and they're just like us. What do you have? Any of those guys kind of impressed you more than you thought? The new faces out there. Um, I've, I've, I knew Scal was really good, and Jamal, he, he impressed me. Like, I like this game. Um, he's a really smart player, and he, he can really play ball. Like, that's all he can play. When Cal signed him, he said, you know, we were going to be good before, but now it's kind of like, okay, it's on again. Did right. you all kind of feel like that, too, when yeah. you came into the Yeah, I had never seen him play. You know, a couple of guys were like, he's up and down. But, you know, I've, I've seen him play, and, yeah, he, he's nice. Like, he can do he – can, he's a great player. What about you individually? What um, I just want to come out here and win, just play to the best of my ability as a team. But, you know, I, I just want to gain weight, get stronger, bigger, more flexible, just make sure my body's right. Is that a cis record still something you think about occasionally? Um, I, I really didn't think about it then. It's just, you know, that's something my dad's talked about. So, you know, of course, that's what, if I want to, I'm a passer, so I like assists. So, you know, that's something I would go for.